Hey everyone, Shaber1000 here. Today we got this fire starter. We're going to be checking this thing out. It's from Montana Antler Craft. So let's see what this thing's all about. Looks cool. Okay guys, so a friend of mine, Ryan, I've heard me mention his name before. I've done some, he gave me the prop for the boat and I've done some work for him uh, on his truck and uh, on his uh, pressure washers. So he said he had one of these that he bought, I think at a yard sale and it came in this bag. He brought it to me yesterday and said, this is a late Christmas present. And I think what he does, he tries to find some camp and stuff. He knows Monkey and I love to go camp, so he tries to find some stuff that we can use. So, um, but this is, let's talk about this thing for a second. This is a magnesium flint stick. It's not, it's not a ferro rod. Here's your magnesium, and here's your flint stick right here. Looks like it may have been struck a couple times. Uh, it comes with this little, this little baggie. It's got a little leather lanyard thing in it. And here's your your starter uh, or your striker. Montana Antler Craft Fire Starter Instructions Packet included with Fire Starter. And there it is right there. Now this is their phone number. Now I tried to look them up on, on the internet and all I could find, uh, there's no website. When you look that up and you click on it, it says web, website not found. I did find a bunch of stuff on Pinterest. Uh, I did see a Facebook page, but um, you know, it's not, the one I clicked on was not uh, active or something, but uh, there is a phone number here. Uh, and a P.O. box. So, but it says to use rest end, rest end on a firm foundation. So it'd be like that. With attached scraper, that's that part right there. We'll get, open this up here in a second. Scrape firm, full length scrapes along the back. Uh, the ferroseum, which is this, it's just a flint stick, is all it is. Edge to ignite dry twigs. Sorry about the noise in the background. They're working on the house across the street every day. Um, uh, edge to ignite dry twigs. For damp locations, scrape the silver magnesium shavings into a pile. Light them by striking the ferroseum edge to jump start your fire. So what you'll do, I'll show you how to do that here in a second. You'll scrape this stuff here, the silver stuff, into a pile and then you'll ignite that. Uh, at night, your fire flash your fire starter flash can be used as an emergency signal, spark, or light. Fire is warning. Fire is dangerous, not intended for children. User assumes all risk of damage or injury. Okay, so. But there's. Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to open this up. This will be going in my pack. This is really cool. <laughs> wow, what are the chances of that happening? Look at that staple. <laughs> right through that. What are the chances? Well, let's go ahead and get our... That's pretty nice. If you can see that or not. I 
got a cool little design on there okay so yeah that's pretty neat zing spark okay um, let's see if we can get this off of here yeah I mean what are the chances that's a perfect shot right I'll probably put paracord on mine. I don't know. We'll see. But this is definitely going in my pack. So. Cool. All right. Now let's. Got a piece of wood here. And my all time favorite fire starter here. Dryer loop. Now this won't need any of the uh, magnesium, so let's um, there it is. Usually that starts up faster than that, but I think I think the last the last thing that was dried in the dryer was uh, like bedding sheets, bed sheets, and stuff like that which is fire retardant so that's probably why that doesn't uh, why that won't uh, take off like it should um, so let's try that again but this time okay I'll just do this on here so you can see better okay so you want to take some of this stuff here And it's windy. Let's put this here, maybe that'll help. I want to scrape some of this off. I I don't use this very much. I have used the magnesium before or magnesium flint sticks usually get a dime size you know about a dime size scrape on it but it's very seldom I have to use the magnesium when I because I always carry this uh, dryer lint with me Except one time I couldn't find it I put it in my pack and I still haven't been able to find it but I have another baggie of it in there so all right like I said I have to pick the windiest days to film now I'm gonna put this on the dryer lint we'll put this up here let me bring you out a little bit here looks a little dark for some reason all right now let's give this a shot whoa check that out and it lit it up awesome so yeah that's pretty cool so like I said I'm not sponsored by these guys they did not send it to me my friend bought this at a yard sale really cheap I think he said two or three bucks and he gave it to me so I thought I would do a review on it it's not really a review because I can't give you any information uh, there is a like I said there is a phone number here um, if you want to try to call them I haven't tried to call them but phone or text 850-499-5076 um, post office box 85 Shalimar this is Shalimar, Florida. 
Where's that at? 32579. Shalimar, Florida. Let me check that out. Okay, so it's six hours for me. It's between Panama City and Pensacola, Florida. So it's up north. It's up in that area. So, all right, got that figured out. Uh, it's a small town of 707 people. So, there you go. So there's that. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Monkey out here. See if we can get her to strike this thing and see how she does. Okay, I got Monkey out here. <laughs> go ahead, Monkey. Give it a shot. Like that? Yes. Now start back. Back. Back? No. Start back here. Oh, back here. And go. Like that? Yes. Do it Ooh. again. Woo! <laughs> I did it. Yay. Oh, look. <laughs> I did it. I did it. So, Monkey did it. Monk. Yeah. Bunk. Yeah. Monkey did it. How monkey hard was it. it? Not hard. No. You did better the first time ever. Yeah. You did better the first time you ever did. Yeah, I did that once. But this. But anyway, you gotta just press down a little bit, and there you go. Really, it wasn't hard. Yeah. Just gotta make sure you're doing it right side. Yep. What do you think? Pretty good. That thing's cool, huh? Yep. Pretty good. All right, thanks, Monk. You're welcome. Okay, so I just want to do a quick, kind of like a review. I wish I had more information for you, but, you know, that's the number if you want to give them a call. You know, I don't know if they're still in business, but yeah, that is a real antler horn. So, so I don't know what they cost. I mean, I've, I've seen similar ones. They're about 20 25 bucks. so I'm not sure about this one. I don't know maybe you can give them a call and see if they still have them or if they're still selling them or what but that's um yeah that's pretty cool um but yeah i think i will go ahead and tie this on there i'll keep it inside my pack because i don't want this dangling out i don't want to lose it but hopefully that'll be long enough to um all i'm going to do is tie a little knot in this like this then I'll stick this down through here make sure I get it on the right side because I'm right-handed so it's going to go through the left side of course backwards if, if you're left-handed I'm going to put this on here I'm going to tie this in a little just a little overhand knot here. There, just like that. Make sure I got enough length. Oh yeah. Plenty. Cool. Now that I burnt my camera up. There it is. So, yeah, check it out. Um, like I said, hopefully you can find out some information, get you one if you want. Um, like I said, he found this one at a yard sale, so that's pretty cool. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, a legend. I'm gone for now. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye and take care. Pretty cool.